It is time to finish up a war here. We are kicking the booty of a very, very large enemy up here. But uh, you got to remember, these guys are super disloyal. And so that's 15,000 men that they are not contributing to the war. And so we're drilling our armies down here while we're sitting on this war. It's going to take some time, but uh, I think it will be worth just waiting it out. Blockaded home ports. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, but we'll see. We'll, we'll sit on it for a bit. So I was thinking... This uh, center of commerce here, I think, would be a really good thing to stack here. This idea cost 10% would go very smoothly with a golden arrow, which would give us 10% all power costs, which would allow us to really crush through the rest of these ideas and start developing the crap out of our subjects and ourselves, of course. Um, that being said, the only way to pop my golden arrow is going to be uh, either get onto another continent, which we're not going to, or uh, humiliate a rival, which uh, we possibly could do, but uh, we do not have the ability to do it unless it's Denmark, who obviously, you know, that's going to be easier said than done, unless we're able to get our navy built up here. So let's take a look here. How many ships do they actually have? 20 and 4 heavies. Oh my gosh. That's not going to happen. Sweden's got 6 galleys. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I only have 10 ships and I have no galleys, so it's just not going to happen. So it looks like we're just going to have to come back to that. We're not going to be able to humiliate them now, but we can do this. And so we should probably do that and then take all their money. No, but I will take war reps. Yeah, okay. We'll sit on this war for a little bit. Now, I'm getting a bit of war exhaustion, but they're also getting quite a bit as well. So that is fine with me. And we're drilling our army and getting a ton of professionalism, which is great. Uh, I will take the admin mana. We are working on an admin idea group after all. Makes sense to uh, push through it. But yeah, welcome back to Buntaku. I don't think I actually uh, explicitly stated it, but thank you guys so much for the support so far. 500 likes on each video and uh, part five will be double length as well as part 10 and so on and so forth. He's old. Uh-huh. Yep. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's go with the mill guy. 214, he's 35, not bad. Might be able to uh, hold on to it. So we have the ticking war score. You got to remember that. So it'll go up by a few more points here. Yeah, the downside is is that we are getting blockaded and it is uh, it is painful for us. So we're going to have to um, have to handle that. But my goal would be to hopefully get a cheeky humiliate off, pop our golden era and rip through a bunch of idea groups like one after another after another. All right, let's do that. Now, we will take that. Sadly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not going to happen. If we unpause, we will lose the, um, the free city. I'm willing to unpause for one day, and if we lose it, we lose it. If we don't lose it, we don't lose it. Okay. Really? Okay, so apparently we lose it on the monthly tick. So that means we can now give these provinces over to them. And they are disloyal. Of course they are, East Frisia. Why? Of course you're disloyal. Why wouldn't you be? And uh, just like that, we are in a good spot now. And we should keep our free city. Yes, we do. Very good. That's awesome. All right. Um... I guess we'll go Diplo Rep, and then Lubeck wants us to join their trade league. Um, multiplicative in provinces with trade by a trade... Mm -hmm. Do I want that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it cuts quite a bit of our trade power if we do that, right? Besides, we probably want to integrate them sooner rather than later. These guys are allied to Bremen. Okay, this is definitely how we're going to do this. We're going to get a claim on Bremen. We can't co-belligerent him anyways. So we're probably going to annex and then release him or just subjugate him or maybe give him to another vassal over here. I don't know. We're going to have to though if we want if we want to um, start consolidating. So let's let's start working on that. Did I just join by accident? I think I did. I did. <laughs> it's all right. So yeah, it definitely hurts our trade income quite a bit. All right, so I could leave his um, trade league. Right. Hmm. I think we leave the trade league. 
I think we're strong enough that we don't need the trade league and it's going to increase our income significantly. So we are embargoing Volgast. So let's revoke that. Uh, we need to find some rivals here. Burgundy. Now, if I wanted to attack them, Bremen and Lubeck would join, but not Austria. If I attack these guys, Bremen and Lubeck will join, but not Austria again. So Austria is in debt and it would destabilize them. Okay. Interesting how that works. It's fine. We're waiting for our war exhaustion to go down anyways. So it's no big deal. These guys are coring those up, which is great. Yeah, pretty good. I bet that brought our force limit up. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. What am I looking at? Okay, we are at our force limit. So let's see. We got seven light ships. We probably should get some galleys. Yeah, let's get six galleys there. We're going to need to fight them. If we want to uh, get over here, we're going to obviously need that. Now, I do want to get that... Um, yeah, I want to get this uh, this Humiliate Rival. So in order to get that, we're going to need Austria to help us out. Accepting would destabilize them. Do you have like really good relations with them or something? Let's see here. Don't I have a map mode for that? I do right here. Yep, that's it. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to use favors to uh, reduce your opinion of Poland. Let's see here. Poland, very good. Wait a minute. Currently it is 31. Did I not say that they were really positive? Polish opinion of Austria. Okay, I don't... Hmm. Okay, we'll try it. I, it hurts my... It cost me 10, I think. 10 favors. So now if we go to attack, Austria still won't join because it would still destabilize them. Paradox, please. Please fix your game. Tell me why. What do you mean it will destabilize them? What do you mean, bro? You gotta tell me more information. How so? <sighs> so stupid. Whatever. No big deal. It is what it is. Um. Yeah, I just want to st stock up on these... Um, Get that, uh, okay, here we go. Now Austria will call the, come in on this guy. Oh, this is way better, actually. So I'm going to continue to drill my army. I'm actually not going to, not going to play. <laughs> I'm not even going to fight them. I'll take the prestige that will help us out. And I will take, uh, lose some ducats. That's fine. My subjects and Austria should handle the war in its entirety. I don't care. And, uh, I will be able to take these ideas. However, you're going to wait because between this mission and humiliating and popping our golden arrow, we will get 20% uh, reduction, which will allow us to spam through these and have plenty of mana left over to uh, develop some of our subjects after afterwards. So we're good. Let's keep you guys drilling. Ooh, what is this? Last stand, huh? I don't know if I've heard this one. I'm vibing. Guns, drums, and steel, friends. I always appreciate the sort of like the oh, the oh, like I don't even know what you call that, like Gregorian sort of stuff. Is that is that Gregorian? I don't know. Oh, my general died. Feels bad, man. Fabian, Tiedemann, Tiedemann. Oh, I'm, I got attacked. That's fine. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, they don't have any men, so I don't care. Oh, I got attacked. Okay, I, I, famous last words, right? Where did my army go? Where are you at, huh? Jerks. We're gonna have to kill some of their armies, I suppose. Now, the reformation has not happened. I was gonna say, I saw some, some uh, zealots over here, but yeah, I don't think that affects us. Um, do we want to keep this guy? Kind of do. I want the mana. We're already focused on mill, which is great. Municipal self-defense, which gives manpower increase flat and land force limit 25,000 or 25%. Or 
Diplo rep. Austria gains 20 or 50 opinion, and we gain an extra relation. Man, these are both good, actually. Let's go with the Diplo rep. If we're going to be going sub uh, vassal play, it's going to help us keep our subjects loyal. The force limit is nice, though. Plus, that helps. Uh, is that guaranteed? Imperial diplomacy just plus 50? As long as we have it, that's great. Our philosopher is over, is dead. Our war exhaustion is high. State maintenance sounds good. Now we just need to, uh, you know, win a couple of sieges and we'll be good to go. Some stands, very good. Transfer your trade power to me and all that stuff. Give me eight or seven and a half ducats from your coffers. I can lose some prestige. I don't care. I'm not gonna lose mana. Clearly, the uh, the whole purpose of this, you know, what we're doing here is to stack up as much mana as we possibly can. Look how much participation. I have 23% participation and I haven't done anything. <laughs> That's pretty great. I like that. Make me happy. Make me smile. And uh, meanwhile, we're just waiting, 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 waiting. Biding our time. This will be worth. Because we're going to humiliate them. Take their war reps. Take all their money. This is reasonable. So I'm going to gain 91 ducats for something I had nothing to do with. We'll wait until next month. We will pop our golden era. We will click this mission. And we can now take ideas for uh, 300. Really? Is that true? Golden era in the bur bourgeois city. Okay. Right. 20% of, I think, base is 400. So that's 40 off. Okay, cool. Very good, though. Fort defense is solid. Yeah, the sooner we push through all of these... Oh my gosh, yeah, actually. We're, we're really good. 10% idea cost as well later on. School of Joan... Johannem? No, Johannem? I don't know how you pronounce that. German is a wild, wild language. All right, and uh, we need to build that there. Let's uh, get some of these guys in my subjects lands. I want all my subjects to just be super just beefy. That's what I want. That's what I really want. I can also build a fort. Mm, they already have a fort here. Really? Cool. That's uh, good to know. Let's get our navies grouped up over here. Now we actually have a galley fleet. We probably are going to need a few more, but um, it's okay. These guys have... A port so we got two here zero yeah man my subjects have like no sub no um no navy unfortunate that's okay though it's not a big deal but yeah the sooner we push through all this the better we'll be saving up our diplo the whole time mercantilism is tight i think i'm gonna dissolve my alliance with you well actually Right, let's get our claim on Bremen here. Because if I co-belligerent... Oh, I can't co-belligerent Bremen. But if I... It's going to cost me a crazy amount of AE. Yeah, we're going to need to let our AE take down for a bit. So let's switch over to an improved relations guy. At least for a few years. And uh, let's recall you. Let's improve relations with outraged countries with our, with our guys here. Apparently he's idle, which is good. Um, Spy Network and Bremen or some Diplomana. Sounds good. Here we go. But yeah, we'll be able to kind of maximize how quickly we're getting through these. Obviously, with our all of our emphasis on mill mana, we're a uh, generation. We're making good progress towards that, but not so much the other ones. But that's okay. Uh, we will keep him, right? Yep, we'll keep him. Gain some free mana. Lubeck is uh, going to war against Mecklenburg, Teutons, and... Yelray. Okay. I don't particularly care. I don't think they have an army. They do not. So I will drill my army now. All is well. Might as well just drill them, right? If we can get our professionalism up, keep stacking it. Why not? It's literally for free. No downside to it. Except for mercs are cheaper. Or mercs are more expensive, rather. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really care about mercs. Mercs are garbage. Mercs are trash. Let's build a fortress on his capital. So now both, all three of my subjects will have a fort on their capital. 
And these guys are disloyal. Okay. Why? Because I'm uh, making them give me their trade power. Eh, let's placate them. Whatever. How are we doing with our estate privileges? Yep. Yeah, we have strong duchies. Supremacy of the crown. Right. We need to get our crown land up because this... Um, you can see... Yeah, let me see here. 38 development is giving them 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's plus 100%. So it's actually, it would, it's double what it would be otherwise. So we definitely are going to need to bring those numbers down. 100 free admin mana. Heck yeah, man. That gives me 20% mill or dev cost plus 10% production efficiency. So look how much money we're making. One province, by the way. That's pretty sweet. That's the part about stuff like that that just gets me excited. Now let's see. Could I attack these guys and call in Austria? Doesn't owe me favors and uh, attitude towards enemies. All right. We need to definitely make sure we are currying favors with you. There we go. And let's see. Just if I wanted to attack them, it would destabilize them. Oh, man, paradox. Please tell me why. Tell me why. Uh, Crown land 70%. Yep. That's just going to take some time. 30 years Republican tradition. That is pretty garbage. All right, let's get that up. So that right there will get them much less uh, disloyal, right? Yep, very good. The Diplo Annex cost is good, but we're not going to worry about it just yet. Now, I don't want to do any development until we click this one here. Not because I want the land force limit, which is good, but we're going to get this one here. Extra land force limit as well as dev. So we're going to get 60% for land force limit plus another 10% dev on top of the 20% here. So 30% dev. Quantity Eco is uh, extremely strong. Very meta sort of uh, pick, if you will. I guess I lose some admin mana. It's fine. Right now, we're just going to get tech. You know, getting caught up on tech here. Um, sure, this is fine. I should probably... No, I don't care about Pope. Because as soon as this hits uh, and we get the Bible translated, I think the Bible translated event is what allows you to flip Protestant. We will flip Protestant. Loop back. Oh my gosh. What are you guys doing? These guys are going crazy. Yeah, these guys are going nutty. Going bonkers. I just uh, attacked somebody with very low morale. Ain't nothing but a thing, baby. Have you guys come on over here? Look at that. And just like that, I'm going to have a ton of participation. Easy peasy. Not bad, right? I don't actually care about the war. I'm just standing here on speed five, making money. We make money while at war because we're looting them and everything. Plus, we get the participation. The more men that we have just sitting on this fort, the more participation we get. It's, it's weird, but that's how it works. You can see here, our participation is going up. 69, nice. 68, because they have more men sieging. But uh, by the time it's pieced out, uh, we will be in an even better spot because we will be able to, um, we'll be able to get a, quite a bit of the money from there. Let's uh, give these four, give these provinces over to Verden just in case they want to give it to them. They can. That's that's fine with me. So I suppose we go in here. Oh, they pieced them out. Very good. Let's come on over here. Get around this way. The Burgundian succession. Let us reintegrate with the French. Interesting. 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 Okay. So I guess we demand lowlands, right? That's uh, my usual go-to there. Oh, these guys are black, black flagged here. All right, another election. Let's uh, keep them in. Nice thing is, is uh, once we finish out our idea group, there you go. So we just gained a ton of force limit. Take a look at this. Might need to so 24, but it, I think it's actually higher than that. Nope, 24. That's fine. So we got our value cannon. Let's go with that, that, and then where are we at here? Look at that. Isn't that insane? And that will force our subjects to be even more loyal because they're going to be like, oh, wait, my, uh, our, our ruler here, our, our leader, look at that. Their numbers are going to just keep going down because they're like, oh yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to be disloyal because they could kick our butts, right? Meanwhile, my subjects are sieging stuff down, getting me war participation, free mana. Heck yeah, bro. Adaptive combat is fine with me. Let's uh, do a little bit of development over here. Look how cheap this is. Each production dev is uh, 
good for us. This this is downstream from us, so I don't actually particularly care about it. But if there's no innovativeness to be gained, spend it all on dev. There's literally no reason not to, right? Makes my subjects nice and loyal. It's funny because it, it's a double-edged sword. It makes them more loyal currently, but it will be harder to uh, keep them loyal later on. Level at least 30 prestige. I can do that. How long till my truce is up with these guys? It is already over. Nice. Okay. We could do this. They have they have uh, claims up here, and Austria would join. The issue is that um, yeah, we do not have naval dominance. That's that's an issue. We can try. Twelve galleys is still not going to be enough. They have twenty ships, bro. Goodness gracious. There you go. These guys are uh, encircling me. Very funny. All right, let's drill the armies because they don't have... Well, they have 10,000 men running around somewhere. So... What is going on here? So Holland was reintegrated? Yeah, is that how that works? Or no, did France just tell them to buzz off? They did, and they're loyal. So France is about to just permanently full integrate these guys. We're going to have a very strong France. Let's uh, improve relations with them just in case. I think I'm going to get called into that war if that's the case. So let's declare a war here. Bremen will not join them. Interesting. Bremen is our ally in this war. Right. Okay. Let's overrun these guys here. Let's come down here. Wipe you out. You guys suck. Go, go on. Get. Okay. Now, Austria is probably going to attack them. So what I'm going to do here is as quickly as possible, I'm going to white piece these guys to get out of the war. Wait uh, until I have a guy here. We are going to attack these guys for Death Martian. Bremen will get called in. And uh, should be fine. Let's get another general there. And uh, we should be okay here. Friesland... So I don't know if we're going to be able to integrate um, Bremen. Ugh, lose a stab for no reason. Feels bad, man. And we'll wait until the yearly tick, and we'll take both of these guys right on time. Because there's no reason to take them early, right? Trade efficiency, global trade power, production efficiency. That is incredible. There we go. One more month. And uh, we will be good. Very good. Look at that. 357. Oh my gosh, 440. Uh, Axe of Uniformity, sounds good. And, uh, yep, I just check this every once in a while. I have these missions, I don't want to tick them because I don't want to integrate any subjects, so it doesn't make any... We wouldn't use it, we wouldn't get any value out of this. This one, we're going to wait until manufacturers have been unlocked for the most part, and uh, so there's no rush for that either. These guys have only six galleys, so this is mostly tr light ships out here. But still, this is uh, only a coast, so they would not be super, super beneficial. Sure, let's go with some advisor cost there. Nobility will be disloyal for a little bit. No big deal. Hopefully we can win a siege or two. That'd be good as well. Yeah, they're piling up over here. For better or for worse. We're on 7% and 0, so what are the chances we win before they win that? Oh, they got a wall breach, and I just got attacked over here. Very good. We got mill tech now. Infantry fire is good. And look look at this. Look at this tech map mode. <laughs> we're the only 888 right now. At least I think we're the only 888. What is this? The Sealy over here? 788? Eight, eight. Now I could call in Lubeck. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I really kind of want Republican tradition. Nobilities are all nobility is already mad. Uh, I should probably even them out a little bit. That's good. Now, yep, see? <laughs> Tell me you're the AI without telling me you're the AI, right? That's the way that this works. Let's have these guys head over here. Hopefully my subjects reinforce. Very good. I can gain some more exhaustion. I do not care. Now, I want to annex both of these guys. 46 AE is actually reasonable, I think. Uh, I think that if we just hold off a couple of um, years, we will be good to go. Yeah. So on the yearly tick, we're actually going to gain quite a bit. So let's buy an indulgence here. 
and uh, let's improve relations with the Pope because we can get a little bit more. Nice. We can get this improved relations, which will give us a bit better um, improvement on the monthly tick there or the yearly tick rather. And then, yeah. Because that's a Bremen is big dev. Well, not really, actually. It's a good thing they're not. Yeah, I can take a little bit of inflation. We have economic ideas, so it's getting it's ticking down over time. Uh, I think we will keep him one more time. Yep, I think we'll keep him one more time. A six foot, a six five six is solid. He got idea cost. Let's go. A little late, but uh, better late than never, they say, right? But now I don't want to take any more land because I don't want uh, any more war score because I don't want ticking war score. The longer this war goes on, the better. Because it allows our uh, aggressive expansion to tick down. And I think we're going to finish up the war in the next one. We're going to integrate these guys. Give them to uh, Lomberg, Sax Lomberg. And we're going to give Bremen over here to uh, Verden. And then um, I don't think we're going to be able to take Friesland. So we we'll probably won't do anything with them. But uh, our, we will continue to grow. Look at this. Not bad, right? Not bad, considering the fact that I have not actually grown at all. Pretty cool, right? If you guys are enjoying, show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. Check out my second channel, Chubert, if you're looking for some more edited styles of content. And uh, support me on Patreon if you have it within your means, because that does go a long way towards uh, letting me do this full time, making these videos every single day for you guys. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Juice Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.